Your devices are filthy. You are a disgusting person, and you should be cleaning up after yourself. Other than washing your hands, number one, wash your hands. If you are not washing your hands, you're fucking up big time. But clean your devices, your phone. Now, let's let's be adult here. You take this thing into the bathroom. Everyone takes their phone to the bathroom. In fact, I'm bold enough to say that probably more people take it into the bathroom than don't take it into the bathroom. This is the newspaper that you'd put under your arm when you went to the latrine. So this thing is disgusting. So if you are not cleaning this thing, and like cleaning it a lot, uh, admittedly I've only cleaned this thing about once a week traditionally, but because of the recent outbreaks I've begun cleaning this daily. How do you clean a smartphone safely? One of the first things you're gonna need is a clean rag. This is a little beat up one, I've had this for years. It's clean, just throw it in the wash when you're done. Another thing you need is iso blah blah blah, blah alcohol. You need cleaning alcohol. This is the uh, the dollar store kind. As you can tell, it's very fancy. Uh, the higher percentage, the better. This is this is what they had at the dollar store, and this is what we're gonna use. So step one, of course, you want to take your phone out of a case if you got it in one, because well, the phone case kind of traps in some of the filth. Mm. Screwdriver for this. Ugh. You'd think I'd get better at this, but no, no. There we are. There we are. Phone case separated. We're gonna start by cleaning the case. The case gets just as dirty as anything else. So, and it like collects dust and skin stuff. Grab this magic little buddy right here. So, ooh, can go a little nuts with this one because it's gonna be the case. Do the inside, get that really good. That's where a lot of stuff collects. And isopropyl alcohol, it evaporates pretty fast, but also you can hit it with the dry side if you want to lighten it up quickly. Get around the edges, of course. Now, cer certain paints, um, this could bring it up. If that's the problem, then get like hydrogen peroxide. And now, this is where you gotta be careful, because even even water resistant phones uh, can be damaged with liquid. Um, so you gotta be careful. I've been cleaning this one like this for years now, and I've had no problem. But you know, your mileage may vary. You're taking your life in your hands. Again, even waterproof ones, when you're pressing liquid into it, um, it does kind of change the dynamic a little bit. Also, avoid getting liquid inside the holes there. So this has an added bonus though. With a clean lens, your photos will come out better. And with a clean screen, well, you can see it better. And just like that. When you're done, of course, put it back together and enjoy when you go to the bathroom or, you know, other times. These should be washed right away afterwards. I'm gonna toss the laundry, like right now. Make sure to reseal your liquid because it is a little on the flammable side, but as long as it's in the container, it's safe. And put some place safe. I store mine in the bathroom cabinet and that's fine. Realistically, you should be doing this with all your electronics. Um, your keyboards, your touch screens, your, your tablets, uh, your laptops. Be very careful when putting alcohol on the laptop, especially where the keyboard is, where you need to do most of the cleaning, because if it one little drip get in there, you can you can you can that thing hard. But, um, you know, use precaution, be careful, um, but clean your shit, man. You're gross.